Hey everyone, how you doing? Welcome to the channel. It's Indie Author Showcase Day today, which means it's time for a fresh batch of self-published fantasy and science fiction authors to talk to you about their books. So settle down, buckle up, and hopefully find some new titles to add to your TBR. Hi everyone, my name is Bill Adams and I am a middle grade and adult science fiction and fantasy writer and uh, today I wanted to introduce what is going to be my adult debut. It is called The God's Blood Tragedy and it is the first book of a four book series. Uh, it is a dark fantasy uh, taking place in a almost post-apocalyptic, almost dystopian world where um, you know, 500 years prior, the a magical city crashed into the earth and just completely changed everything. And now it's all covered in a poisonous mist where the magic resides. But this book specifically uh, takes place in a desert city where the world's fuel source is mined. And there is a floating fortress over it, so the bad guys have already won. Uh, you might be able to see fortress up here and the book is uh, basically a heist where um, there is a magical seal that uh, guards the ruins of the uh, ancient magical city and the main character here her name is Ash um, she's a reluctant hero she doesn't want to be a hero uh, she's an orphan at the beginning of the book and she is drawn back to this city because this is where her homeland is and you know her family might be involved here. I'm not going to spoil anything, but if you read the blurb, you'll see that. And um, yeah, the uh, the villains have already won, so it's kind of a lot of bloodshed. There's a heist, there's some rebellion, there's some magic tech, there's a lot going on. I put as many fantasy tropes in here as possible, with also some humor and some fun twists on that. So I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Hi, I'm Morgan Delaney, an Irish writer of dark, strange, and fantastic fiction, here to tell you about The Law of Consequences, a brand new fantasy anthology with one of my stories in it. Now, I don't yet have a print book to wave at you, unfortunately. Luckily, because it's a fanth fantasy anthology, I have some <coughs> magic. Nice. <clears throat> the Law of Consequences is a collection of 20 short stories by 20 different authors spread over more than 400 pages. It's the brainchild of S.C. E. Gowland, G.M. White and W.A. Leggett, acting as editors to create a collection of stories all written by followers of the bestseller Experiment Writing Podcast. The Law of Consequences is all about magic, swords with fancy names, mystery, intrigue, betrayal, adventure, all that good stuff. But it's also got a theme, like any good anthology. The theme is choice. When we make a choice, for better or worse, we have to live with the consequences. There's something for every fantasy reader in The Law of Consequences. There's even my story, Down by the Sea. The inspiration for this story is waking up one morning with the first line of Edward Lear's um, nonsense poem, The Owl and the Pussycat Stuck in My Head, uh, and a desire to find out what I think would have happened next. In Down by the Sea, the owl and the cat um, decide to cross the ocean together in a bathtub because they're in love, which is good, but they neglect to pack properly. Owl thinks he should be able to catch fish as easily as mice and cat. Well, cat isn't going to pack if owl isn't going to pack. Um, soon they run out of food, alone, miles from anywhere. With nothing to eat, they're forced to make some tough choices. Find out more. Find out more about the other 19 stories by checking out the Universal Book Link, which will take you to your favourite bookshop to grab yourself a copy. Why not? It's only two ninety nine. Okay, bye. Hello, this is Moonwood Jane, my upcoming fantasy novel. It will be released on the 24th of July, that's on Thursday and it will be available in ebook and paperback. So Moonward Chain is set in a world where long ago immortal sorcerers from off world visitors and they settled and they ruled there, but not in peace. Um, there were factions and they had a war. And by the time this story starts, 
the immortals have been chained away for centuries. Um, but of course, meddling sees them released and they resume their ancient war. So the story follows Lessie, who is just a stable girl. She's no one special, she can't wield weapons and she doesn't really know what's going on. So when she gets embroiled in the conflict, um, she runs. And she gets help from Laura, who is a mute character. He doesn't talk, um, but he does have the ability to, to communicate with birds. Um, and he helps her escape, but he's got his own agenda. Um, he's got a stake in this ancient wall. Um, and he isn't quite what he seems. Um, so if you like, I like to call it an epic fairy tale. Um, it's sort of epic. It's got a little bit of romance, but it's gently played. Um, and it's got some, some fairy, tale, fairy tale elements as well. Um, I very much enjoyed writing it. It was one of the first stories I, I ever wrote and I shelved it for years and then come back to it because I wanted to share it. So on Thursday the 24th of July, this will be available on Amazon. Thank you. Okay, so... Can I magic mic? <laughs> no. <laughs> what do you mean, no? I'm Zachary Forbes. And I'm Joshua Forbes. And we're the authors of the Continuum series, a post-apocalyptic set of stories with a sci-fi twist. Book two, Foot in the Grave, just came out earlier this month. It's got detectives, cannibals, zombies, loads of music references. And feet. And feet. Yeah. I'd love to tell you more, but we're on a time limit. So here's Smoke on the Water. Thank you so much to all of the authors who've taken the time to film a video and send it over to me for inclusion in today's showcase. I hope you all enjoyed listening to them talking about their books and you can check out more details using the book and author links in the box below this video. If you're a self-published fantasy or science fiction author and you want to appear in a future one of these videos, check out the showcase page on my website, dominishbooks.com, and you can find all of the details you need there to get a video over to me. That's all I've got for you today, so thank you very much for joining me. I hope to see you in the next one sometime soon. Until then, as always, though, take care of yourselves, read some good books. Bye for now.